assalamu alaikum students the third part of tga is sample holder so sample holder in which the sample is contained these are the pans which are mainly made up of platinum aluminum or alumina but platinum is most often used because with of two reasons one it is inert and other ease of cleaning now the volume of the sample pan these ranges from 40 microliter to 500 microliter auto samplers are also available as attachment for most gia system with majority of the these units all aspects are automated under software control the sample pan tearing loading and weighing the furnace heating and cooling and the pan unloading are totally automatic so this is a brief introduction of the sample holders in another lecture i will discuss in details about these sample holders because i have other books as well and some notes are there so we will discuss in details about these sample holders okay previous lecture mein hum graph ko explain kar rahe the if you look at the graph so there are two graphs in the one graph in the one graph there are moisture volatile matter and fixed carbon definitely when sample is giving off its mass is decreasing so in one graph you, you can see that it start from 100 and then it comes down to 20 almost up to 20 so at the top there are water moisture then there are volatiles and another of the fixed carbon actually this give you the percentage as well you can see that when coal is burnt ash is left so this is bituminous coal which is of um, the tga analysis show this is of low quality coal because fixed carbon is 67% volatile matter is 23% and water content is 0.9% this have very low volatile contents and fixed carbon are higher so that's why the coal is of good quality when these volatile matters are high definitely water contents are also reciprocal of the quality of the coal now in the second graph we look that the first temperature is 110 degree centigrade then it goes to 950 degree centigrade then cycles per cycle time is 30 minutes so we increase the temperature from 110 to 950 then at the 950 you can see that in this range is um, ignitable and then gives a fixed carbon ratio and during this we changes per gases you can see that there is nitrogen then we switch to oxygen then again we switch to the nitrogen now talking about the temperature control and data processing so temperature recorded in the thermogram is ideally the actual temperature of the sample this temperature can be obtained by immersing a small thermocouple directly in the sample such a procedure is followed however because of the possible catalytic de decomposition of sample potential contamination of sample and weighing error resulting from the thermocouple leads means you can check this temperature by dipping your thermocouple directly into the sample but this will affect three things one it can contaminate the sample second is the there may be um, catalytic decomposition of sample means your um, thermocouple may 
involve catalytically because thermocouples are made up of these are bimetallic strips metals so they act as a catalyst and the third one is the there may be error weighing resulting from the thermocouples so because of these problems recorded temperature are generally measured with a small thermocouple located as close as possible to the sample container so we do not dip we do not put the thermocouples in the sample but we keep them as small as close as possible to the sample container does the recorded sample then generally leg or lead the actual sample temperature now the modern TGI system use a computerized temperature control routine that automatically compares the voltage output of the thermocouple with the voltage versus temperature table stored in computer memory I'm giving you about the okay, jo modern TGI instruments hote hain usme ke everything is computerized temperature control routines hoti hain computer uses the difference between the temperature of a thermocouple and the temperature specific to adjust the voltage to the heater in some system the same thermocouple behave as a heating element and the temperature sensor so you can use thermocouples to heat the sample as well as to measure the voltage of the heater in some system the same thermocouple behave as a heating element element and some temperature sensor with modern control system it is possible to achieve it is possible to achieve excellent agreement between the specified sample program and temperature of the sample typical run to run reproducibility for a particular program falls with 2 centigrade throughout an instruments entire operating range